Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Adam coming at you from Team BDGC. We're gonna do my 2020 in the bag. Pull up, pull up, pull up, like a way to bagel. And I came here with the walls. We came here to play though. This got my magos. This got my magos. This got my magos. This got my magos. Oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Adam coming at you from Team BDGC. We're going to do my 2020 in the bag. So we'll start with putters. We'll go with my putting putters. Um, right here we have the 2019 model 300 PA3. Um, these are really great for me. I have small hands, so the, the rim is really shallow. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really shallow compared to other, competitors, other putters. Um, it's got a nice bead on the end. I love a beaded putter. So rest my finger on there. It's very accurate, very straight. Just point at the pole, throw it. It'll go in every single time. Um, next up, we have throwing putters. Let's see. I actually have three P model S's in the bag. We'll go baseline. I have a orange, extremely beat up P A uh, P model S. It's got a huge chunk taken out. This was basically just a warm up putter. I don't throw it in my rounds. It's ridiculously understable. I have a white base grip P model S. This one I'll use for a hyzer flip to straight shots. Something I need to finish straight under under around 200 feet or so. This will be the perfect disc. Next up we have an orange um, Duraflex Glow P model S. This this disc is, in my opinion, the perfect throwing putter on the market. Um, it's, it's very straight. You can manipulate the angles very easily. If you throw it on Anheuser, it'll stay on Anheuser. If you throw it on Heiser, it'll stay Heiser. And if you throw it straight, it'll go perfectly straight and finish straight. Next, I have a 400 series PA2. This is a this is an older run of PA2. Very stable. I use it for short forehand approach shots. Something I need um, to be extremely stable for me. If I need to fight the wind, I can throw this and be confident that it'll go where I need it to go. Next up is the mid ranges. I don't carry very many mids. Um, I carry two M model S's. One in the base grip plastic. This one's uh, my hyzer flip to straight mid range. Same thing with the P model S. If I need something to go just a little bit farther, I'll whip this bad boy out. And I have a Duraflex Glow M model S. Um, this is perfect, again, for those hyzer flip to straight shots. It'll just hold a little bit more in the wind if I need it to. Just pop it out with a little bit of hyzer flip up straight, and it'll go perfectly straight. And we have a very old, um, I actually lost this for a while. Um, I got it found and returned to me um, by Seth Overby. Um, it's a good 400 GM4, the, the Kel Leviska stamp. It's very accurate. It's a laser beam point and shoot. I can throw it as hard as I want on hazard. It'll just go absolutely dead straight. I have three of the Approach Series Discs. I have one 750A1. I don't really know why I have this. Um, it's extremely overstable. It'll fight any wind conditions. I can have a 40 mile an hour headwind. I can throw this no problem. It'll fade every single time. I have a very board flat, I don't know if you can see that, A2. This one is not quite as stable as the A1, but I can get it to do what I want mostly. I can throw little flex shots with a forehand, backhand, anything. I'll know that it will be reliably stable. Next up, I have the 750A3. This is a new addition to my bag this year. Very flat. This is a very, very good approach disc in my opinion. Um, it's flat, so it's good for forehands. Very comfortable, stiff plastic. I'm going to throw it on hyzer, and it'll stay on hyzer with a little bit of glide. Um, it's good for backhands, mini flex shots. It'll flex, go straight for a while, and then have a soft fade out. This is one of my favorite additions to the bag this year. Next up, we'll go fairway drivers. I have... Two right now, I actually lost one of my FX2s, so I have usually have three. But this one I'm starting to beat in right now, this one will go pretty straight for a long while, about 360 and then it'll start fading out to finish. 
Um, this is a, one of the best fairy drivers I've ever thrown. It's got a nice deep rim. It's got a textured bottom. Gives it a little bit of extra grip. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I have a 500. This one flies almost identical to that, except it'll finish a little bit harder. So if I need a little bit more of a stable flight, I'll whip out the 500 FX2. I carry one F Model S Duraflex Low. I'm um, starting out. These discs are kind of neutral. I can throw one on a hyzer and it'll go just straight forever. But now that I've beat it in, it's become the perfect roller. I can throw it flat and it'll just flip on over on a good cut. Go a long ways and finally, it'll finally curl over for me. The H series. See, I carry one original 750H1 for just ridiculous windy shots. Um, something that I need to go right or left in a heartbeat. I'll whip out this disc. It's very reliable, very stable. Two. I have two H3 V2s. One is a 750 Glow. And one is a 400 plastic. They're almost identical in flight. This one will just have a little bit more late turn. I can throw it on a hyzer and it'll flip up flat and then just get that gradual right turn. It's perfect for any kind of wood shots, any touchy forehands. I use these anywhere from like 360 to 400 feet reliably. Perfect disc. Now we'll go on to the distance drivers. Um, I do carry three D1s. I have this 400G Glow Snow Owl D1. This one is ridiculously stable. It's super flat, kind of gummy, kind of stiff, kind of it's in the middle. You know, it feels really good in my hand. I use this to replace my X1, so it's extremely stable. It wants to find the ground. Um, I'm not going to be throwing this probably over 330 feet. Uh, it'll just, any wind conditions, I need something just to go up and down. I'll whip this bad boy out. I have another extremely stable 400G D1. It's, it's just a stock run. It's super flat. It flies almost the same as that one. The Snow Owl, except I can push it just a little bit farther. So if I need something to go a little bit farther, then I'll bring this one out. It's mostly going to be a backup for that one, though. And then I have a Domi 400G DGPT D1. Um, starting out, this is a very stable disc, but it beats into me a nice flyer. It'll get a nice right turn and then still have the stability to finish out. This one will be a, a, my main distance driver so far um, for this year. Next, I have two D2s. I have one 400G D2. It's a little bit flatter. So if I need something with a little bit more turn than this D1, then I'll throw this D2. Um, I can get just a little bit more distance, but it gets a little squirrely at times with the wind, so anytime there's any wind, I'll just whip, whip out that D1. Next up, I have a Will Shoestrick 400 D2. Um, this disc is strictly for forehands. I do not throw it backhand that much. Um, with a forehand, I can throw it flat, and it'll get a good, good left turn with still a a nice finish to back to the right to finish a little straight, a little right. Um, this would be my max distance forehand driver. I push it out to maybe 350, 330, 350 ish max distance. Next up, I have some D models. I have two D model OS's. These are slowly becoming one of my favorite drivers. Um, it's a new release this year, actually. It's got a nice curved rim. It fits in my fingers really well and in my padding. They're pretty overstable to start out. They're the most reliably, reliably stable disc that Prodigy makes, I think, right now, in my opinion. And you just throw it out flat, and it'll get a good straight flight before it finishes. And it has a has a very good glidey finish. It's not going to just dump out and find the ground. It'll still continue to fly forward as it finishes out. Very good for flex shots, anything you need a, a good stable disc for. Next, I have one D Model S. This disc is, uh, I'm currently working with this disc. I don't know if it'll stay in the bag just yet or not, but it's a little bit more understable than the D2s. Um, I can just throw it with a little bit of hyzer, forehand, backhand. It'll get a, it has a good 
right turn before it finishes a little bit right for me. Um, I'll pu pull this out mostly in tailwind situations. I'll just throw it high, a little bit of Anheuser, and it'll just ride forever. It goes for a long ways. Lastly, I have a D model US, which is surprisingly more stable than the S um, for some reason. It has a similar feel to the OS. Fits in my hand really well. has a nice sharp rim. This disc um, is just a good general driver. If there's not really any wind, you just want a good point-and-shoot driver. You can throw this a little flat. It'll have a little less turn than the D Model S, a little bit more than the D Model OS. It's a good in-the-middle driver. And it'll finish pretty straight for me, actually. Um, I'll be pulling this out, like I said, in pretty much minimal wind conditions. and headwinds, it'll turn right over. Tailwinds, it'll be a, a, a little stable, to be honest. So, anytime there's no wind or anything like that, I'll be pulling this out. Alright, we'll go in the side pockets. Um, right now I'm carrying the, B, the BP2 V2. Nice ripstop material. The side pockets here are perfect for carrying your phone, for example. Um, I have a random paper in there. I always carry a couple of minis in case I lose one. I have a nice Pico Mini right here. Um, I don't really use it. It's fun to throw around though. I have just a regular Prodigy Mini. Anytime I'm in a hurry, I just want to grab a Mini or something. My card's waiting on me. I'll just grab this and throw it down. This one, however, has a little bit of meaning. Um, my parents actually got this for me in the 2019 Am Worlds at one of the markets. It's a pretty sick, like, galaxy-looking resin Mini. It's pretty cool. Um, this is my main mini that I throw down whenever I want to have a good thoughts and something. I have always carry a couple of markers. Um, a little one you can clip on your hook right here to have it on the side of your bag if you'd like. A regular Sharpie. Nice fine point to get that accuracy with your name because we all need that. I always carry a thing of chapstick because you never know when it's going to be cold or really hot you're getting dehydrated you need a good chapstick your lips are getting chapped and bleeding and cracked all over the place nice chapstick i recommend carmex very good i also got something very unique i got this from also from the 2019 image world it's a tick remover so if you're walking through the woods like we are in tennessee there's a lot of woods golf if you're walking through the woods and you see a tick just pop this bad boy in there and flick it right off. It works like a charm. In this pocket, I carry some medicine, some pain reliever medicine. I get headaches a lot on the course. Whenever I get dehydrated, I don't eat a lot, so this is always a lifesaver. Two bottles, one with caffeine. I carry a golf ball, one singular golf ball, just in case I have a disc stuck in a tree or something. I can throw it at it, get it down. I also have fingernail clippers, a necessity for any disc golfer. Whenever you get like a small little nick or something on your disc, you can just clip it right off. It even has a handy little file. And I can file just a little bit right where I clipped off and it'll be good as new. Lastly, the last thing I can possibly carry in my bag is a crisp $5 bill. You never know when you're uh, going to ride with somebody to a course or to a tournament or something. You stop at McDonald's, you don't have your wallet, you know, it's a big party foul. So always carry a crisp $5 bill in your bag just whenever you need a, a good snack or something between rounds. And I believe, oh, there's a surprise. I also have an M4 Mini for pretty much just warming up or whatever I want. I can play with it on the course between rounds. They actually fly really nice. Um, just it flies like an M4. I don't know what else to say. You just throw it, and it'll go forever. Um, that's pretty much been my, my 2020 season in the bag. Everything's working for me so well, um, so far right now. Some things are maybe subject to change, like the D Model S, like I said, or the D Model US. I might replace it with something else. But other than that, this has been my in the bag, and if, if you're an amateur and you want to play slightly better than your amateur status, then copy my bag and that'll happen for you. Thank you.
hashtag thumbnail. You said. I've got chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute necessity. A crisp five dollar bill. Oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say Innova. Yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog. Give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.